I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. This is a query from Lee Stanfill, one, on uh, grounding when portable. He says, thoughts on how the body of an Airstream trailer would work for an HF counterpoise? And the answer is it would work well. Also, if you have any other kind of trailer or RV, using the frame of that as a counterpoise would work pretty well too, okay? Now, the aluminum, which is what an Airstream trailer is made of, uh, is not metallic, so it's hard to stick uh, one of the magmount antennas on it. You'd have to do something a little bit more permanent. The ideal spot for the antenna would be a vertical centered on the trailer. If you put the antenna anywhere else, it will become more directional and tend to put out more radiation away from the side it's connected on. So if it's connected on the starboard side, it will radiate mostly to the port side. When you put it on the top, it'll radiate off the ends of the trailer more than it will to the side. But a uh, good thing to experiment with, be careful putting holes in that aluminum body. Airstream trailers are hold their value. They're excellent trailers. Make sure you put in something that works okay with it. Now it is possible to do bumper mounts on these things and just feed it against the chassis of it. Again, if you've got an antenna that goes up and you've got the trailer ahead of you, it will tend to push much of the radiation that way. So there you have it, 73.